we've gone so far beyond the pale. As a country, we have slid off the edge into the land where there, it's really a, a giant socialist um, organ operating that protects itself. And so you're talking you see, about the deep state. You're talking about correct. The, and, the and, and you see offense after offense of, the, of government at every level. Offense after offense, and you find out that laws are for the little people. Mm -hmm. The Clinton gang walks away. Uh, people say, well, hey, where's the Department of Justice investigation? Where's the FBI? Half the time, they're complicit. You just reviewed the whole saga of the, the Russian uranium deal going back years. They covered it up. The people who are knowledgeable, who had direct firsthand knowledge, who should have either brought prosecutions or developed investigations, they're the ones who kept their mouths shut for years. But Chris, we're talking about the very same people who are pursuing without any evidence of any kind, whether as a result of more than a year of investigation by the FBI, or more than nine months of investigation by congressional intelligence committees, the Trump-Russia uh, collusion. Yeah, this, the, the, this, this is maddening. This is, it not only is it maddening, this is evidence that we are becoming a failed state. I, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that. When, when the entire Justice Department is paralyzed, where there's no investigations, no real investigations, there's these make-believe congressional hearings that are nothing more than, you know, sound bites, and people openly flaunt and, and really hold the, the Congress in contempt. Uh, and then when Congress holds them back in contempt, nothing happens. But we have, a, we have a paralyzed Justice Department and FBI. We have the key leaders either unwilling to do anything or they themselves are personally compromised. These are, these are all sort of uh, symptoms or evidence of a failed state. That's where we're going. And, and, the, and f we're doing it fast. It has been fast, but uh, law enforcement, uh, intelligence agencies not acting quickly at all over the course of the last eight years, particularly under the Obama administration. You talk about a failed state. Is there any better evidence of, uh, of the corruption of the leadership of the FBI and the Justice Department than the fact that I can't think of a single single investigation in the Obama era that resulted in even a report, let alone a successful resolution of a major investigation. Uh, you can talk about Benghazi, you can talk about Fast yes. and Furious. All uh, the, best, the FBI was sent in as a way to say, no, we can't talk about that. We're going to have to stonewall you and we have as our perfect excuse an FBI investigation about which we cannot speak and you never hear from them again. The FBI has become the place where investigations and truth go to die. Correct, and you have Lois Lerner turning over 1.25 million taxpayer files to the FBI and telling them, go ahead and kind of thumb through them, see if you can find anything. Well, the FBI is then complicit in her misconduct. That's why there's no prosecution of Lois Lerner. That's why everybody at Justice Department just walked away from the IRS scandal, because they were in the middle of it. They're not going to investigate themselves. Let and me, this, le this level of corruption really, I'm telling you, it's not an exaggeration. We are uh, at the edge of being a failed state because there is no real accountability. There are no consequences. The general public I, sees this. They know. Oh, they know they what's know. going on. Uh, I hesitate to.